Welcome to another ThugExposed.org quick cast. This is Brother Ray. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about spiritual fighting. And the reason why I'm going to talk about this is because after a deliverance, I'm a demon deliverance minister, a Christian demon deliverance minister. So that means we cast devils out of people. Okay, according to Mark 16, uh, 17 through 18, Matthew 10. Uh, where Jesus commissioned those who would believe to cast demons out. Well, what I find is after the demonic spirit is cast out, and, and Jesus says in Matthew, talks about how when a demon comes out, right, it seeks around to see if it can come back in. And that person gives place. Those demons will come in and come in even seven times stronger, seven more. But what I, I see that is a pattern that often reoccurs is after someone gets delivered, you know, they call me back, they say, well, what's going on? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this temptation again to use drugs or use pornography. You know, what's happening? Well, that's normal. We don't, once we get delivered, the battle does not stop. Ephesians 6.12 says we battle not against flesh and blood, right, but against evil spirits. So, you know, the Bible also tells don't count it strange when you go through trials and tribulations. We're in a war, you know. It tells us in Timothy to endure hardship like a good soldier. A lot of times, you know, they're telling me I'm, I'm hearing these voices. I'm, uh, I'm having these temptations and these things have been harassing me all night. Sometimes they'll audibly hear the voices or things of that sort and the thoughts, the tormenting thoughts of depression. And the first thing that I'll ask, you know, a after I hear them, you know, venting out is, well, well, what did you do when this was all happening? And they almost looked surprised why I asked them that. Well, what did you do? Uh, well, I... Um, and they just kind of get stuck. I'm like, well, you got to fight. You have to battle. 2 Corinthians 10, 5 says to cast down those thoughts, right? Those evil thoughts and make them obedient to Christ. You have to use your sword. You have to use your shield, okay? You have to use the breastplate of righteousness. You got to battle back. I mean, just like in anything else, if somebody walked up to you on the street and just put their finger in your forehead and said, hey, 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 hey. Hey, would you just stand there and say, ow, fall down and ball up? No. You would push them away, right? You'd defend yourself. But because it's in another dimension, the spiritual battle, many Christians just ball up and quit. Okay? You can't let the enemy punk you. Now, it's not in our power, not in our might, but by, you know, God's spirit that we battle, Right? But you got to fight back. You have to learn how to use your sword. You know, you meditate on the word of God. If the devil's telling you, well, you know, you're sick. You're going to die. You know, you're sick. No. 1 Peter 2.24, I pick up my sword. 1 Peter 2.24 says, by Jesus' stripes, I'm healed. And when I speak out, that sword goes out and fights against the spirit of doubt and unbelief and cuts them up and the more I meditate on the word of God the stronger right my weaponry is so it is crucial that we battle right we pick up our sword we meditate on the word of God day and night and we go forth and be good soldiers enduring hardship like good soldiers in Christ remember greater is in us than he that is in the world. Okay? So that's just been a, another quick cast from thugexposed.org. God bless you. Remember, subscribe to our channel and look forward to more videos, God willing. Praise God.